So it's officially Monday, which means it's the start of the week and the start of the NBA trade deadline of 2020. But assuming that all goes to plan, like most NBA seasons, there will be quite a few trades that happen during the trade deadline. I don't expect any massive trades to happen. I think there will be a lot of trades that will happen though, simply because the league is so wide open and so many teams have the potential chance to win an NBA championship this season. You're going to see the Lakers go after players, the Clippers go after players, the Bucks potentially go after players, the Miami Heat, all the top teams looking to get even better so they have that extra chance to push for an NBA Finals spot this season. But there's one team that isn't doing that. And that's because obviously this season is not their season. Unlike many seasons prior with Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, the Golden State Warriors are more of a rebuilding team this season. They've obviously had their injuries and we all know about the Golden State Warriors of 2020. It's just a rebuilding year for them, just so they can bring Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry back for 2021. And I do know that Stephen Curry is expected to return sometime around March. But I just don't think it makes logical sense for him to really push himself this season. I think he may as well just get healthy, get back when Klay Thompson gets back. Then you've got a big trio in Draymond, Klay, Curry once again. That trio was an NBA championship trio in the past. I just don't know if it makes logical sense to have D'Angelo Russell and Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson all together. I think if the right trade proposes itself to the Golden State Warriors, they will trade D'Angelo Russell away, get an even better pick this season, flip that pick and have a better team next season. And before I get started, let me know what you think. Do you think that D'Angelo Russell will be traded from the Golden State Warriors this season? The number one reason I think he'll get traded this trade deadline is because it makes sense in the long term for the Golden State Warriors. But the overall main reason is that obviously D'Angelo Russell will actually help the Golden State Warriors win a few more games. And if they're looking to get a top five pick in this year's NBA draft, having D'Angelo Russell doesn't really make a lot of sense. But I want to know what you think down below. Do you think that D'Lo will get traded or do you think he'll be kept for the remainder of the season and possibly prevent the Warriors from getting one of the best picks in the NBA draft? So they may as well lose more games than win so they can get their pick to a good position in this year's NBA draft. In saying that, it's been made clear that the Golden State Warriors are potentially open to trade Alec Burks and or Glenn Robinson this week, with even the potential chance of the Golden State Warriors trading D'Angelo Russell. Now Mark Stein is a pretty well known reporter and he's usually very up to date and he always has his information correct. He's not Woj, but he's in the same line as Woj. And Mark Stein stated, many thought the Golden State Warriors would wait until the draft time to seriously ponder moving D'Angelo Russell. But sources say they are listening to pitches with no secret, Minnesota wants D'Lo badly. Now, I was like Mark Stein. I believe the Golden State Warriors had no chance of trading D'Angelo Russell this NBA trade deadline. I believe that they would just keep him until the end of the season just to see how he worked out with the team. But obviously, things have changed. Stephen Curry hasn't been able to play. D'Angelo Russell is a very good player that is almost hurting the Golden State Warriors as they're trying to get a better pick for this year's NBA draft. Having a player like D'Angelo Russell, it obviously makes them a better team than if they just let their young players play this season. But you have to think about it from the Golden State Warriors and what's best for them in the future. Currently, D'Angelo Russell is a pretty good talent. He averages 23.8 points on 43% shooting, 38% from three, and 3.7 rebounds with 6.3 assists per game. He's obviously a young talent that has a lot of potential. But for the future of the Golden State Warriors, is it likely that we're going to see D'Angelo Russell, Stephen Curry, and Klay Thompson merge and play well together? Probably not as likely as a guy like Robert Covington, who fits extremely well with this Golden State Warriors team. But obviously, you're not going to look at Robin Covington and D'Angelo Russell and put them in the same sentence because, no, D'Angelo is a potential all-star and Robert Covington is a borderline starter. But Robert Covington plays his role so well that a team like the Golden State Warriors will probably benefit more with Robert Covington than they would with D'Angelo Russell. But each player cannot be compared because obviously, you would take D'Angelo Russell. But it's not players that win NBA championships, it's teams. So I believe they should go after a small forward. Minnesota wants D'Lo badly. And I think with what the Minnesota Timberwolves are going through at the moment, they will basically do anything. So this is what I potentially could see happening this NBA trade deadline with the Golden State Warriors and the Minnesota Timberwolves. For those that don't know, Carl Anthony Towns hasn't delivered a win for the Minnesota Timberwolves since November of last year. And Carl Anthony Towns is definitely frustrated because they've gone on two 11 game losing streaks, which is obviously shocking. 
You have to go all the way back to the day before Thanksgiving on November 27, 2019. That was the last time Carl Anthony Towns was on the court for a Minnesota Timberwolves win. They're 5 and 25 in their last 30 games, and with Carl Anthony Towns being one of the best players in the league but not winning games, something needs to be done. The Minnesota Timberwolves have stated that they're looking to trade Robert Covington. Robert Covington, according to the Minnesota Timberwolves, is on the block for two first round picks. But the Golden State Warriors could use a guy like Robert Covington. This season, Robert Covington is currently averaging 13 points, 6 rebounds per game on 34% from 3 and 43% as a field goal percentage, playing only 29 minutes per game and taking only 10 field goal attempts per game. Throughout his career, he's just been a very steady player. He doesn't have much of an upside nor much of a downside. He continually stays around the same, 13 points per game, gives you around 5 to 6 rebounds per game locks down his opponent on defense averaging nearly two steals per game for his career average with 1.6 this season and he does shoot at a pretty good percentage from three and as a field goal percentage the perfect three and d guy that can make any team go from an nba playoff team to an nba championship level team he just plays his role so well and he works perfectly when you have Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson back. You just put Robert Covington at the three. You know he'll play amazing defense. He'll hit the open shot. And then you've got Draymond Green at the four. And potentially a decent center at the five next season. With a top five pick in this year's NBA draft. But obviously the Golden State Warriors will not trade D'Angelo Russell for Robert Covington. But the fit is there. So really all the Golden State Warriors have to do is get more assets and improve their bench depth. So I believe this could be a potential trade. The Golden State Warriors give up D'Angelo Russell, Alec Burks and Glenn Robinson III, which they've already stated that Alec Burks and Glenn Robinson are on the trade block. And in return, the Golden State Warriors receive Robert Covington, Josh Okoge and Gorgie Deng with two first round picks. Now, obviously this looks like a terrible trade for the Golden State Warriors, but you have to picture this. Next season, the Golden State Warriors could have a lineup of Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Robert Covington, Draymond Green, and Gorgie Deng. Off the bench, they would have a top five pick, possibly LaMelo Ball. At the two, Josh Okoge. At the three, Andre Iguodala, because he's already stated that he would love to return to the Golden State Warriors once this year settles. Then at the four, Eric Pascal, and at the five, Kevin Looney. That is a really nice looking squad. Obviously, they have the scoring power with Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson back, but defensively, this could be one of the toughest teams to face up against. Remember that Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green had led this team without Kevin Durant to an NBA championship, and if you can just replace that team with guys that just play a similar role next season, this is still an NBA championship level team. Keep in mind, they would still have the two first round picks from the Minnesota Timberwolves in which they can use to make a future trade, which means if they trade D'Angelo Russell, they likely have a top five pick. They will trade that top five pick. Then the two Minnesota Timberwolves picks of 2020 and 2021, you throw in those three picks all together, they could get a really good center for those three picks. And then you've got a lineup of Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Robert Covington, Draymond Green, and a good center. That team to me is just over the top scary and it probably makes them the favorite to win the NBA championship in 2021. So I know this trade doesn't look amazing for the Golden State Warriors on paper, but in the long term, I think it's a much better fit and I think it will make a lot of sense considering that D'Angelo Russell helps them win a few more games and without him, they can get a much better pick, which they can use as a future asset. As for the Minnesota Timberwolves, I think we know what this brings. This brings Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell together, two teammates of the past who would love to play together, and we all know that. They've stated that in the past, the media knows it, they know it, the fans know it. It would be great for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It could potentially push them into the playoffs if they can get the ball rolling and can somehow get on a win streak. And then it means a trio of D'Angelo Russell, Andrew Wiggins, and Carl Anthony Towns. Having D'Lo will take the pressure off Wiggins a little bit more. And with Jarrett Culver being there still, it's a pretty exciting team to watch. They probably won't do well overall this season, but if they can get some chemistry together this season, moving forward into 2021, that could be a very scary sight with D'Lo, Wiggins, and Cat all together. Jarrett Culver improving a little bit more and a few free agent signings. The Minnesota Timberwolves can be a tough team to face up against next season. So I want to know what you think about the trade. This was a trade scenario that I came up with, but let me know what you think about it down below. Do you think that D'Angelo 
Russell will be traded for or do you think he'll be on the team for the remainder of the season? In my opinion, I think it's a good thing if they can trade him because it helps them get a better draft pick this year and obviously it makes more sense overall in the long term for this team. But I really want to know what you think down below in the comment section. And let me know what you think about Cat and D-Lo together. How exciting would that be? If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button for more NBA content every single week. Subscribe if you're new, hit the notification button so you never miss an upload. It's been your boy, Smith. I am out. Peace.